you are going to love these websites. Now, remember, the goal of this series is not to say every website I recommend is perfect. Instead, I am showing you the websites that are doing specific things very well so you can take bits and pieces from them all and apply it to all your projects. Now, the first website is tailwindcss.com. Now, Tailwind is a modern day CSS framework. In other words, think of it as a design system, but it's already built and developers can take it and start building web applications with it right away. Now, upon landing on the homepage, they have a clear and concise heading that explains what the product is about. Now, aside from the concise copywriting, extremely consistent and aesthetically pleasing visual style, I love the fact that Tailwind CSS lets the product speak for itself. As you can see throughout the homepage, every time they are explaining what the product is about and how to use it, they visually show you the code and what happens when you apply it to your own project. So the next time you are designing a homepage or a landing page, instead of just slapping on a screenshot of a feature, think about what are some dynamic ideas you can implement to bring your representation to life. The second website is Winden.co. What I love about what Winden has done is first, how it's visually differentiated itself from other traditional banks. Now, instead of corporate and boring colors, they went with something much more modern. They combined a confident and rich navy blue with soft pastel-like colors that sort of remind me of Stripe. Now, once again, the visuals are rigorously consistent and mouthwatering. Their copywriting is clean and concise with no ambiguity, and the illustrations aren't just pretty for the sake of being pretty. They actually communicate what they are saying, and they are clean and concise and really high end. Now, the third website is CCAT. The CCAT website is really just a product page to promote a new generation of super yachts. So we can assume that this website is trying to build suspense and maybe some excitement, which means some of the UX might not be conventional because their goal isn't just to be like everyone else. However, I do love the consistent visual style. They also have this ominous and ambient sound in the background, which makes it feel a little eerie and thrilling, sort of feels quite nice. Now, I normally don't like it when websites override the native scrolling behavior, but for some reason, this website specifically still maintains my focus. I think it's because it's actually telling a story, in other words, a narrative. As you scroll down to the next section, they are explaining what this super yacht has to offer. But most importantly, the 3D render is also transitioning to match the story. I don't really like how they're trying to reinvent the wheel for the navigation icon. The plus sign does feel a little confusing, but once again, they are trying to be different. The navigation menu also is visually engaging, but can also come off a little confusing as well. Now, once again, there is no perfect website. We are simply taking the best things from them all so you can apply them to your own projects. Now, the fourth website is jasper.ai. Now, jasper.ai is an online AI tool to help creators write content 10 times faster. With Jasper's website, it's a little more conventional. You need a little inspiration. Jasper is here to help. I do like the overall style of the website. It is branded really well. It's consistent and structured, but what I love about it is the marketing aspect of it. They have clear call to actions, clear headlines and messaging, lots of social proofing, which is really just the showcasing or the proof that lots of people are using the product to encourage others to give it a shot as well. They have also considered the many different use cases and different audiences that might be interested in their product and have dedicated resources to answering their questions. Now, last but not least, they really know how to position themselves as a market leader with all the awards at the bottom. Just to remember, websites don't have to have crazy interactions or animations to be great. It all depends on what is your goal, who are your users and how can you answer their questions? Now, the final website is lazy.so. 
Now, Lazy.so is currently just a pre-launch campaign for an app that allows people to quickly take notes with a twist. The first thing I love about this web page is that similar to Tailwind CSS, they let their product speak for itself. They have an interactive component on the homepage that allows people to try before they buy, if you will. Now, yes, it's more effort to create, but it increases that perceived value. Then as you scroll, very similar to Ccast, it leverages the scroll to tell the story of the product. The micro interactions on this web page are also immaculate, crispy, and clean. Now, the one thing I don't quite like about the lazy.so webpage is that it's far too long. There is just so much to scroll through and it becomes more of a job than a joy. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed these five websites. If you like this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the diehard fans. And if you wanna learn more, you should definitely check out this video and I'll see you in another video very soon. Ah, oh, bits and pieces from them all. Whoops, start again. Bits and pieces from them all. Ah, cut that. Show case. All right.